What's up everyone? So the matchup I'm looking at today is the Washington Nationals at the Chicago Cubs. Let's get into it. Keegan Thompson is on the mound for the Chicago Cubs and he's been really good at home so far this season. He's posted a 2.50 ERA, a 2.73 FIP, and a 3.77 XFIP, which are all pretty decent numbers at home. On the other side, Anibal Sanchez is having a rough season so far. He has a 7.65 ERA, a 7.01 FIP, and a 5.27 XFIP. Also, the Chicago Cubs offense has been very good against right-handed pitchers over the past two weeks at home. They have the ninth best WRC plus in the league. And with guys like Ian Happ and Wilson Contreras being able to chill after the trade deadline has passed, it seems that they can just go out and play baseball. And there's also guys like Nico Horner who are putting up really solid seasons. And he's been an excellent offensive contributor to the Cubs lineup. And their offense is just really pretty good and they have been playing really well at home and they get a pretty solid matchup against the Washington Nationals and Anibal Sanchez tomorrow night, which is a pretty good deal if you ask me. Now I do have to add that the Nats have been a pretty good road offense against right-handed pitchers over the past couple of weeks, but half of that data includes Juan Soto and Josh Bell, who actually put up pretty decent offensive numbers before they got traded to San Diego. So it's really hard to say who they are without those two, but they're clearly not going to be as good of an offense without two of the better players in the league. But the Cubs run line is going to open in plus money at the time of recording this video. It hasn't been posted yet, but their money line is minus 180. So you could assume that the run line is going to be minus one and a half at around 120, 125. So if it's in plus money, which there's a good chance it'll remain in plus money up until game time, that is definitely the play here. If you wanna factor out both of the bullpens, which are both pretty shaky units, you could play the Chicago Cubs run line at minus half a run for the first five innings. And if that's in plus money, that's also a solid play, but there's a chance they go wire to wire here. So that's what I'm looking at today, the Washington Nationals. At the Chicago Cubs, I like the Cubs run line, either minus one and a half for the full game or minus half a run for the first five. As long as they're in plus money, I say go for it. That's gonna do it for me. I'm Jules Posner. You can follow me on Twitter at Jules Posner. Julesy Boy Labs gives that matchup two cats. That is the best rating you can get. It's a two cat matchup. So tune in every day for more free daily action picks right here on the Action Network's YouTube channel. Good luck out there.